Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the problem on resultant for parallel force system. So, let's get started. Now, here is the question in which it is given. Find the resultant force in magnitude and direction for the following force system. So, this is a force system given. As we can see here, all the forces are parallel, but their sense are different. Like for example, 1000 Newton is acting upward, 1500 Newton acting downward, 1800 Newton acting upward, 2000 Newton acting downward. 2400 Newton acting upward and at last 2700 Newton acting downward. So these are the forces given. Their distances are given with respect to the first force which is 1000 Newton and for that we have to find, I will write it in the form of data, the amount of resultant force and its location which is given by x. So quickly into the solution part. Here I will write the formula for resultant force. The magnitude of the resultant force is given by the formula. R is equal to root of summation fx square plus summation fy square. Now, when we look into the given problem, only vertical forces are given. So, summation of fx would not be there because that indicates the sum of all horizontal forces. So, finally, the resultant formula would become R is equal to, it is, it will be since summation fx is 0, root of summation fy square and root of this term square would become that term itself which is summation of Fy because summation Fx is equal to 0 there are no horizontal forces and since there are only vertical forces the sign convention would be to find the resultant all upward forces to be treated positive and downward forces as negative so therefore the resultant force 1000 Newton is upward, so plus 1500 Newton acting downward, 1800 acting upward, 2000 Newton acting downward, so minus 2400 acting upward, so plus at last. 2700 Newton acting downwards, so minus. So from this, when I calculate the value, the resultant value comes out to be, it is minus 1000 Newton. And since the answer is negative, it means that the resultant force would be acting in the downward direction. Now once the value or we can say the magnitude is known that is the first answer. Now we need to find the location for the resultant force and for that I would be applying Varignan's theorem of moments so writing it as applying the Varignan's theorem of moments now this theorem says that when we take the summation or addition of moments of all forces about a particular point, I will say it is point A and that should be equal to the moment of resultant which is R into X. Now here the convention would be all clockwise moments taken as positive, anti-clockwise moments negative. And for the reference, I would be taking the first force as the reference which is point A and now I would be taking the moments of all forces about this point A. So starting with 1000 Newton since it is passing through the same point there is no perpendicular distance because for moment we require the force and the perpendicular distance. So there is only force 1000 Newton there is no perpendicular distance between point A and 1000 Newton force so its moment is 0. Next when we see 1500 Newton force it is acting downward so the moment is produced in a clockwise sense 
so that is 1500 into 1 then 1800 newton is acting upward so when i take the moment it is anti clockwise distance is 3 meter so minus 1800 into 3 2000 newton is acting downwards so the moment produced about point a would be clockwise so plus 2000 into 5 2400 newton is acting upwards so the moment produced would be in an anti clockwise manner which is negative distance is 7 meter so minus 2400 into 7 2700 acting downward so moment about point a would be in a clockwise sense so distance is 8 meter so plus 2700 into 8 that is equal to the moment of resultant now resultant as we have found out it is in the downward direction i am assuming that the resultant is in a downward direction which we have got here and its distance with respect to the first force that is point a is x so when i take the moment of resultant it is in the clockwise sense so that is r into x and the value of resultant is 1000 newton so it is 1000 into x so finally when i calculate this the answer of x comes out to be it is 10.9 meter with respect to point a that's the second answer now after getting this answer the last force which is 2700 is at a distance of 8 meter it means resultant is away from this 8 meter that is it is ahead of this so finally i would be locating the resultant with the help of an example like this is the first force of 1000 newton taking its reference that is with respect to point a i am defining the resultant acting in the downward sense location with respect to point a is 10.9 meter it means when i replace all these forces even this thousand newton has been replaced here i have shown this just for taking the reference that is it, it is with respect to the first force so the effect would be all these forces would be replaced by a single force called as the resultant force of 1000 newton acting at 10.9 meter with respect to point a producing the same effect as the combination of all the forces shown here so in short that was a problem regarding parallel forces at the end if you will find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching